damn morning, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. And before I get started, big birthday shout out to my man Bernard. Friday the 13th, full moon. Somebody's getting in fucking trouble tonight. Happy birthday, man. And big shout out to my boy James from North Kaka Laka. Now enough with the pleasantries. Let's get into this shit because I'm coming in hot as fuck this morning. Did you guys see that ridiculous, disgusting, lie-filled bullshit on display last night at the so-called Democratic debate? That was some hard shit to watch. What the fuck was that? This clown car needs to be emptied immediately. The only person on that stage who wasn't lying was Andrew Yang. And he's stupid. We're going to give each family $1,000 a month. That's called communism, you fucker. Why don't you just take $1,000 less in taxes per person? How about that? How about you un unwind yourself from our life? Untangle yourself from our fucking lives and take less money. We know what to do with it way better than you dumbasses. Holy shit, man. Now, 99% of this stupid ass debate can be summed up in three words. Blah, blah, and blah. Because a lot of it was the same old shit. America's racist with no fucking proof. Just throwing around those accusations with no fucking proof. Climate change is an existential threat. We're all going to die. Then why the fuck do mortgage mortgage companies keep handing out 30-year mortgages if we're all going to die, you stupid lying pieces of dog shit? And I apologize to dog shit out there. Are you kidding me? So most of it was the same old bullshit. Trumpity Trump, Trump racist. One really stupid fucking thing that was said about Trump and it was mean, vindictive, and a lie, was from Kamala, the Ugandan nightmare. You remember this fucking dummy who went horizontal with Willie Brown so her career could go vertical. This sloppy shit sandwich got up there and said they were talking about the mass shooting in El Paso, Texas, again. And shit, someone asked her, do they blame Trump for it or some shit? And she goes... Well, he didn't pull the trigger, but he was certainly tweeting the ammunition. What? Now, I'm trying really hard not to use the word bitch here. But what the fuck are you talking about? You're blaming the, the sitting president of the United States for a mass shooting committed by some evil fucker that you call a white supremacist, but apparently this dude was so white supremacist that he shot four or five white people, one of them from fucking Germany. So either this guy wasn't a white supremacist or you guys are fucking lying to me. I wonder which one it is. So this dumb fuck had the nerve to say that, but not to be outdone. Beta, the tall, sad looking penis, was like, oh yeah, you think you can say some dumb shit? Hold my fucking Michelob ultralight pussy beer. This motherfucker got up there and said, uh, one of the stupid moderators, I don't know, Jorge Ramos, you fucking turd. If we could pick one person to be deported, if we could all put in a vote for one person to be deported, it would be that slimy little sickly looking fucker named George Jorge Ramos. What the fuck? And I don't know who that black lady was up there as one of the moderators, but she was dumb as fuck too. A wet brick on Sunday would look at this moron like, <laughs> you're fucking stupid. With the, oh, um, what are you going to do about systemic racism? Just s perpetuating these fucking lies, right? So Beta Male O'Rourke, this goofy looking sad dick, got up there and said, they asked him about, what are you going to do about AR-15? Some bullshit. And he's talking about, 
I sat and talked with a mother in Odessa, Texas, and her daughter, 15-year-old daughter, was shot and killed by an AR-15. And when an AR-15, when a high-velocity round hits your body, it tears everything apart. That's what any bullet does, you fucking stupid ass. Not the, It's not exclusive to the 223. Any bullet, when it hits your weak human flesh, tears everything apart, dumbass. So then he says... You know, these kind of weapons doing this kind of destruction and any weapon that was made to shoot an enemy soldier and make them bleed to death so they can't get up and fight American troops. Hell yeah, I'm going to take your AR-15 and your AK-47. This fool, a person running for president in America, got up there and said, hell yeah, I'm going to take your fucking guns. That doesn't bother you? And then I look under the tweet, and there's all these fucking people. Well, no citizen should have an AR-15. They don't need an AR-15. Says who, you soft-headed dirt fucker? Who are you to say what an American needs? The vast majority of people are not psychotic murderers. They should be able to have whatever they want. I don't care if they want a fucking howitzer in their backyard. As long as they don't use it, who gives a fuck? What the fuck, man? So this dumbass get up, gets up there and says, Hell yeah, I want to take your AR-15s. Remember what I told you? The reason the left is against AR-15s is because they are racist. Because AR-15s are big and black and they're scared. Now... AR-15 does not stand for Assault Rifle or Automatic Rifle. It's an acronym for Armalite, the company that made the fucking thing. Armalite 15, that's what it stands for. I know it doesn't sound as cool and scary arr, as Assault Rifle or Automatic Rifle, but that's all it means. Armalite 15. Armalite designed the fucking thing. Colt bought it from them. We like the design. Here's a bunch of money. It's ours now. So they took that design and created a fully automatic version called the M16. They shrunk that down to a cute little M4. But the AR-15 is not a weapon built for the military. Nobody in the motherfucking U.S. military carries an AR-15. It is a hunting rifle because it is semi-automatic. That means it only shoots bullets as fast as your little finger can pull the trigger. Fully automatic weapons have been illegal in America since 1986. And in the majority, the overwhelming majority of these mass shootings that you fuckers want to hang your hats on happen with handguns. They don't even use most of, they don't use AR-15s most of the fucking time. What the fuck? And when he said it, these dumb motherfuckers in the front row stand up and cheer. Take my freedom. Take my weapons. Take my means to protect myself from you tyrannical motherfuckers. And you also in the tw in the Twitter comments, people were like, "Well, when our founding fathers made those rules, they had muskets and all that stupid." Shut the fuck up. Out of one side of your mouth, you guys are telling me we don't need weapons to protect ourselves. But the, out of the other side of your disgusting, toothless, cock-sucking mouth, you're telling me that our government is running internment camps. So, which one is it? If my government is taking people and putting people in internment camps, I need a gun to protect myself. Because you, you're telling me you're going to come take my guns with people carrying guns. That don't make no fucking sense. And you're going to buy back our weapons? Uh, beta... Where are you going to get the money from? Tax money, right? Tax money comes from us. So we're buying back our own weapons with our own money, basically. Why don't you guys go hold a fucking bake sale in another country, take their money, and then buy our guns back with their money? Not our own money, you fucking asshole. What the fuck? Then you got 
Who is that lady on the end? She's a sinner. She looks like the mom from that 70s show. She's a nobody. I don't even remember her name. Why are they wasting our time with these fucking idiots? And Joe Biden, that was some sad looking shit. He couldn't remember what the fuck he was talking about. His damn teeth almost came out. Do you see him fumbling with his fucking dentures? I wonder if your Medicare for all will cover fix a dent. And Bernie Sanders, the corporations, the evil billionaires, and the billionaires, and the corporations, and the billionaires. Shut the fuck up, Gilbert Godfrey's father. If you had it your way, you'd be a fucking billionaire. And if your socialism, communist bullshit goes through, you will be a billionaire. When did being a billionaire become bad? If that's true, I want to be bad as fuck. And you got Elizabeth Warren's stupid ass up there. These, you know, these corporations and the corp, these big business and the corporations and the corporations. Who's lining your fucking pockets? The iPhone you tweet your ignorant shit from. That's a giant corporation. The little fucking Chinese kids that knit your clothes. They work for a giant corporation. What are you talking about? Since when the fuck do you guys care about giant corporations? God, oh, the fuck, man. And then after Kamala, the Ugandan nightmare, got up there and said that stupid shit about, well, he's certainly tweeting out the ammunition. Then she's laughing. <laughs> like, it was almost, the dude was starting to talk because he was still laughing. Like, Kamala, shut the fuck up. You're not funny. And I was the first black woman and black woman and black woman. I was the first black woman, black this and black that. Listen up, dummy. You're not black. Okay? You're not black. You're fucking Indian. Your mom is an Indian and your daddy's a motherfucking Indian. So you're an Indian. If his mama name him Clay, I'm going to call him Clay. You're not black. I don't care what they tell you. I don't give a fuck what they call you in articles. You're not black. Stop hitching your wagon. Run as a fucking Indian American because that's what you are. I was the first black. Shut the fuck up. And I'm going to tell you straight up. I don't give a shit how anybody feels about this. I am wary of childless politicians. Because you have no vested interest in the future. You have no skin in the game. When you have children, it changes your view of the future. Oh, I hate people with kids. I don't give a fuck what you hate. That's how I feel. I am wary of childless politicians. Now, having a child does not make you smarter. It does not make you better. But it does make you look at things differently. And I don't want this dried uterus, childless fuck in charge of my country. Man, that... Holy shit. You ever see that movie, How High? Remember the little pimp? He put the powder in his hand and slapped the shit out of people. Somebody should have went out there with a five-gallon bucket of Johnson & Johnson baby powder and slapped the holy shit out of everybody on that stage. But I'll tell you this, Cory Booker, that's Obama 2.0. He's polished, he's articulate, and he has a fucking plan. And that's scary. And he's dumb as fuck people communities of color and people of color and color and color that's all these fuckers could talk about i'm gonna do you ain't gonna do shit Corey. i bet you got a soft handshake and you slip your woman's shoes on when you gotta run out to the car what the fuck are you talking about speaking of where is your woman where's rosario dawson i thought she was your boo and she was gonna hit the campaign trail with you and what happened to your little sexual assault case? Then you throw some dude up against the wall and stick your tongue in his mouth? What happened to that? What happened to Donnie Le Donna Lamone, that greasy lip bitch on CNN? Didn't you give somebody the Adolf Dickler? You put your hand in there and rubbed your little white man loving dick and rubbed it in his face? What happened to that? They covering that shit. But when Brett Kavanaugh is trying to be confirmed as a U.S. Supreme Court justice, you motherfuckers are bringing up shit that didn't happen from 1981. 
That's all we heard. Kavanaugh, Kavanaugh, Kavanaugh. But you actually have legitimate current witnesses to what happened between, with, between these two dirty little fuckers, but we don't hear nothing about it. Anyway, that was a sad display on all fronts. So many fucking lies. And to these soft-headed dummies who don't want to do homework, they believe this shit. But hey, the silver lining is they're just handing the presidency back to Trump. Because there are people who are Democrats who are just like, what the fuck? What's her name? Kellyanne Williamson, the finan or a, a spiritual advisor, whatever the fuck that means. To uh, Oprah, remember she had a little little hot mic incident. Don't these fools know? Like as long as you're in a, a TV studio, being interviewed, commercial break or not, your mic's on. So she said she's talking to some guy. He was a former Fox News anchor, or some shit, and she's like, you know what's weird? I get treated better by conservatives. She's like the lefties are fucking. They treat me terrible. She's like, and I'm a, the leftist lefty of all. And they treat me so bad. Why are they so mean? That's the cannibalism. They're eating themselves. They're turning on themselves because they're out of fucking control and they're crazy. Because they don't have shit. They're desperate. Desperation will make you do and say some crazy shit. If you think they, the end is near, the end is nigh. You, are, you will say and do whatever you have to, whatever you can to preserve life. Whether it be real life or political life. That's what they're doing. I, I sat through damn near that whole thing. I was so happy when that moderator said, okay, final question. I was like, shit. What more stupid shit can they say? In a nutshell, all they want to do is take your guns, take your money, and give other people free shit on your dime. That's what they want. And if that motherfucker says, my name is Julian Castro, your name is Julian, motherfucker. Stop saying Julian and all the people from Honduras and Guatemala. Shut the fuck up. Stop talking like that, motherfucker. Julian. Your name's Julian. I'm sorry, little racist bitch. That shit was worse than a, that was a worse than a shit show. That was a fucking diarrhea show. Those fools are in bad shape. They're crazy as fuck, and we need to take their soapbox and their bullhorn. Holy shit! Hell yeah, we're gonna take your AR-15s. No, you're not. Fucking lurch. You big goofy looking fucker. You ain't taking nothing. Because you got to be in the office of president to even think about that. And you will not fucking make it. We've had enough of you weak, sunken chest, slope shoulder, sad-eyed, bitch-ass beta males. Fuck you all. If your beanie is pulled back to here and you got a man bun under it, fuck you. We need a real fucking man in the White House to handle real shit. They're talking, oh, well, what are you going to do with China? Well, we're going to sit down with China because we need China. We don't need China for shit. They need us. We run this. We're in charge. We are daddy. We get the big piece of fucking chicken. That's it. Fucking chumps. Man, let me get in this damn rat race. Don't you know how it goes? I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please subscribe, hit that notification bell, utilize the PayPal link and the Teespring link to get your green gear. I am Jericho Green. Man, I'm out.